Listen, they just dropped a batch of characters that have no purpose in the game right now. So, I'm just gonna try to make the most of it, okay? Uh, this Megarida character is clearly a character that doesn't work very well right now because... Maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm speculating this. The festival that's coming in two weeks, in two weeks should be time for another festival, uh, will be very good for her. So that's my guess. Uh, but we'll see in two weeks. And um, so for now, there's not much to do. But I want to try some different stuff. A lot of people have been really liking this Megirdo as a, as a character. And here's why. Her animations are actually very nice. Like, look, look at her face expressions. There's something that no, no, I don't think any other character does in the game, like in 3D. Look, these the face expressions are like very anime-esque. And I cannot recall any other character in the game doing expressions like this. Which is pretty cool. It, it means they can they can uh, start doing more characters like her in the future as well. Um, so, I actually, why, why not? I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make the most of it, okay? So we're gonna be doing a Amplify team with <laughs> with our favorite unknown character that should not be unknown. And um, yeah, we'll see how it will go. I try to use her Amplify as much as possible. We have two blue characters, so it shouldn't be the worst facing Bon, which I, which I like. Um, I actually was thinking instead of using Margaret, using the green ram but uh i don't think the stats are as good as the actual buff because increased damage plus the amplifies all right i'm gonna go with this right we're gonna seal pop in the blue card and attack uh we did get the buff with her hopefully mm -mm. <laughs> mm. see at the same time that I hope next turn we don't get a card so we can actually get the buff again, I want a card so we can combine. Okay, we didn't get a card. I was gonna say, so we can combine and actually get a level 2 for her. But we did not get a card. Um, okay. That was a lot. The four ignites uh, are very, very hurtful. Let's do this, right? So we're gonna get the buff again. We're gonna cleanse the debuffs. And how much is level 1 Amplify gonna do on Kyo? With I'm gonna have no Ignites on me, so I'm gonna have no damage reduction. We've got 4 buffs. 45k. You know, for a level 1, that's not bad. That's, that's not bad for a level 1. It's not absurd. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not bad for a level 1. I'll, I'll give it that. If we can get like a level 3 with 4 buffs... That'd be pretty nice. You're like, oh, why don't you just use, you know... Uh, the other green offer And... You know... Have, um have level 3 Margaret buff. Listen, I've already done that, okay? This is something different, <laughs> okay? I want you to try this as well, so we can actually use Green Galfer's purple card and have the disable option as well. And not be tied to rank ups, because when you're batting on those rank ups, man, you can be very much disappointed. Very, very much. Very low amount of cards I got for her this match. Which is not a terrible thing, necessarily, because I do want to have two or less cards for her every turn, because Manash is passive. But at the same time, of course, I do want to use her, so... Well, let's ask her healing real quick. How much am I going to heal with this? Level 2 card. I mean... It could have been worse. It could have been worse healing for sure. Listen, I'm, I'm just really, I'm just really excited to see when she's gonna be good, okay? Because uh, <laughs> again, I do believe that she's one of those characters that we're gonna be getting a unit for, just like Excalibur Arthur. When Excalibur Arthur came out, you go back to those videos like he was garbage. Like there was nowhere in the game. 
that you could say, oh yeah, Excalibur Arthur is good here. And then Bond came out. I was like, okay, well, that makes sense. I think it's gonna be the same case for her. So does anyone have any idea what they can do to make her good? They did release a, a, a Holy Relic for base Merlin that makes uh, un, un, unknown characters have, do 30% more damage, I believe. 30% more damage with an ultimate. I'm actually checking right now. 35. No, it's just... Um... Sorry. It's... It's across the board. 35% damage increase. Hmm. Could they release a new base Merlin? As a festival? Because that Holy Relic is insane. That is an insane Holy Relic. Oh well. Our Godfrey died turn once. That's great. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um... Thirty-five percent across. Across the board. See, but the thing, I, the issue I have is. Damage increase passives are very weird. They sometimes feel like they don't even work. So, I don't know how that's gonna be. But that is pretty nutty. 35% across the board increased damage for base Merlin. If they release a base Merlin faster in two weeks, you know why. Because his Holy Relic effect is pretty nutty. Or at least on paper, it's pretty nerdy, nutty. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, hope that this healing will be enough for Margaret to tank the next turn. That stat decrease was very unfortunate for her. Oh, that healing was pitiful. It was so bad. Wow, that healing was so bad. <laughs> I know he has the rejuvenate, but wow, that healing was bad. That healing was so bad. What? That is some, that is some of the worst healing I think I've ever seen. That was a level two card. That was a level two healing card. And he healed like 10% of her health. What? <laughs> oh no. That was so bad. But you know, it's okay. It's okay. I don't, I don't expect her to be amazing here. Because... She, she has to be amazing for the bird, you know? And right now, trust me, no... You're like, oh, use this team, use this... I I'm telling you, no one has found a team that works for her. Oh, and, and they fixed the uh, the bird thing. So yesterday I was complaining that they made a patch and they fixed the glitch that would allow you to reset uh, to the same floor that you were before dying. And they fixed the glitch, but they <laughs> didn't make so, like, you would, you know, go back to the floor that you died. You just reset to one, which was the opposite of what they said. But I guess that... They said that was not intended, and they fixed it, so that's cool, I guess. Um, Alright. Man, she does take damage. Okay. Level 2. And hopefully next turn, we won't get a card for her, so we can get the Nanashi buffs. But at the same time, I do want a card for her to do more damage. It's, it's, it's very... The Nanashi passive, yeah, I, I got a card for it. The Nanashi passive is very, very weird, you know? She might just die here, though. Don't die! Okay. Let's heal. <laughs> let's, let's heal, baby. That will, that will make us survive. See, that healing... 
was not that bad. She wasn't being lowered la last match, was she? I need to go. I thought Nanashi was the one being lowered. Right? Like the stat. No, no, um. Was it Margaret? Margaret was the one that her, the stats were being lowered, right? I think so. So there was no reason for her to just do so little damage. Oh, she took a crit. Well, that's unfortunate. Her crit chance is um, not the worst, but also not the best. Well. Listen. I'll come back in a few weeks when she's good. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to make any more videos on her until then, if I'm being honest. I don't think there's a purpose for that. Um, if someone finds a good team for her that's with current units, I'll make a video on it. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put myself through that that nightmare of a of a losing streak of birds. That's for them, sure. If someone does find it, though, I'll let you know. Let's let's just finish this. Yeah, I'll attack with Nanashi afterwards. Wait, no. I haven't used Nanashi in so long. I 90'd him just for this. And Nanashi wins the match for us, baby. Just like that. <laughs>